Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my favorite drugstore products. Um, I've organized them in how I put them on my face when I get ready, just to make it easier. So let's just dive right in. First one I have is a primer. This is by Maybelline. It is called the Master Prime um, Blur and Smooth Number 100. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. This is that's the reason why I picked it up and tried it, and it actually has become my favorite primer to use. Um, I have a handful of them, but this one really seems to work the best for me. I find that it goes on really, really smooth. You can kind of see here, give you a little swatch of it. It's very thin, it's lo like a lotion, and it goes on, blends in really quickly. Um, it just feels so soft and smooth. Now, as far as for my skin type, I have very uh, combination skin, a little bit oily, sometimes dry, sometimes break out. So it's a very mixture of everything. So I really like the way that this works with my skin. It moisturizes almost like a moisturizer. I do use moisturizer before putting this on, but it is extra moisturizing. It's smoothing. It doesn't break me out or anything like that. So it's really great. The next thing I have, the next product I have to talk about is by Bourjois. It's called the Healthy Mix Serum. Now this is something you have to buy online. I got mine off eBay, I think, and it was about $12. Um, this one is the Serum Gel Foundation. It says it has 16 hours radiant boosting, uh, even revived complexion. And it smells like, like just barely fruity which is really weird for a foundation, but it has all these little like fruits and nuts and things on the packaging, if you can see there. I have this one in the color 53 Beige Clair, which is light beige, um, and it just goes on very thin. It's a very light, almost like a, um, like a BB cream, um, very light coverage, but it gives me this like glowy, dewy foundation look, and I really like it. For concealers, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Conceal. This one reminds me a lot of the NARS Creamy Concealer, but it's a lot better, actually. For me, the NARS is just a teeny bit thick and it tends to cake up on my fine lines um, under my eyes, whereas this one is just a hair thinner and it gives me a little bit more blendability and I like it. This one is 15, or that might be 150. I don't know, it's kind of broken off, but it's fair. The next product I have is also from the Maybelline line. Honestly, in my opinion, if I could only shop one drugstore brand, Maybelline, I think, probably has the best. There's a lot of good products at the drugstore, but as far as Maybelline products go, they rarely let me down. So this one is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, foundation powder. So it's just a matte foundation powder. I usually use this just to set some of my areas after I put on my foundation um, where I tend to be oilier in my t-zone and just under my eyes to set that concealer if I use concealer. It says it's from nor for normal to oily skin and uh, it's just been really great. So now on to brow products. Actually, I have three to talk about. This is the NYX micro brow pencil. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's got your brow pencil on one side and your spoolie on the other side, but I believe this gives you more product than the Anastasia. This one gives you 0.003 ounces, and I'll have to look up the Anastasia and compare them, but I believe that this one gave me more product when I was looking into it. Regardless, this is half the price. It's usually around $10. Sometimes at Ulta, you can get NYX products, buy one, get one half off, so you get two for $15. Um, whereas Anastasia Brow Wiz, last time I bought one, was $21. Um, I don't like it quite as much as the Anastasia Brow Wiz, only because I find that the actual product is just a little bit thicker more dense, 
So as I'm applying it, I have to push a little harder. It's not as creamy as the Anastasia one. However, for less than half the price, it's almost exactly the same thing and it works really great. So I use that. The next is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. I have this one in medium to dark. What it is, is it's just a little brow gel and supposedly it has little brow fibers to help you fill in your brows a little bit more. I tend to have kind of sparse areas from over plucking most of my life, so I have to fill mine in. And this sets it after, sets all my little brow hairs after I fill it in and just adds a little bit of color, which just makes them feel a little bit thicker and more full. So I don't use this every single day, depending on what products I'm using, but I tend to use this quite a bit and I do like it. And the last product I have is this Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter. It's just a little pencil. One side gives you the matte, matte beige product is what it's called, and the other is like a highlight. You can see I don't use that very much. But the matte, I just apply it underneath my brows once I've filled them in, just to really like clean it up and give them that sharp look. And then with my finger, I just kind of pat it in and uh, that gives that under eye highlight and it all under brow highlight anyway. And it also just sharpens up the um, eyebrow area. So next I have a couple bronzers to show you. This is the Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer. Um, this one is kind of a shimmery bronze. I know it looks really dark, but it's really not that dark. Let me swatch this for you so you can see. Because I'm pretty fair. So that goes on pretty decently. It's really nice and golden um, is what I like. And for the most part, what I do after I contour, if I contour, um, a lot of times I use this if I just want a quick all over glow. But I just take a big fluffy brush and I just kind of apply it everywhere. Um, and it just brings a glow to my cheeks. It looks really sparkly, but I find that when I put it on my face, I don't get a lot of shimmer from it. The other bronzer, this is a cream bronzer, and it's also from that brand Bourjois, which you have to buy it online. This one I think ran me about eight or nine dollars. It smells like chocolate. A little bit like chocolate. I don't know, it smells good. Anyway, it's just a cream bronzing product, and I really like this one. It's a little bit more work, as almost all cream products tend to be. But if I am doing cream products or just getting ready and have time to spare. Sometimes I'll use that one. I find myself using that and then putting a powder bronzer over it. So I don't know if it's the best to use as just sole one cream product, but I do like it. Let me give you guys a swatch so you can see. So this is a lot. I usually use like that much to go on my whole face. So it's really nice, it's matte, um, it blends really easily. So let me show you if I blend it out, which is what I usually do. You can just see it adds a little bit of like a bronze color to my skin without being too orangey, too dark. I think this is a really good primer. It's what it's called, bronzing primer. It's a really good cream bronzer for people who are new to cream products like me. Um, because it blends really easily, so you can't really, if, even if you heavy hand it, you can blend it out. Moving on to blush. This is a Milani baked blush. This is in Luminoso. It's just a really beautiful pink light blush that has almost like a highlight built into it. You can kind of see even the sheen to it in the packaging. Um, it's really beautiful. It goes on nice and light. I don't wear a lot of blush. So for me, when I do wear a blush, I don't want something that's super pigmented and dark because I'm just not comfortable with that. So it's a really good blush for somebody who is either fair to medium um, or who doesn't want something that's super pigmented because it's a nice light blush. Next, I have the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This is like a dollar, I think. Um, it's got a super, super fine, fine tip 
on it and it just goes on really nice and black. That's what I used to do my wing liner today um, to actually get that thin flick. Um, it's not the best eyeliner I've ever used, but as far as drugstore goes, it's cheap, it works, it's thin, it's dark, um, so it's a really good, decent eyeliner. Next I have the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. I really like this um, for multiple things. I'll put it on if I put foundation or powder on and my makeup looks too cakey. I'll spray this and then just kind of dab it down with a beauty blender or sponge just to kind of thin it out, um, make it look less chunky. I use it as a setting spray. I use it on the back of a blending sponge to make my highlighter look more natural um, if I don't want that super strobe highlight. I use this for a lot of different stuff. I'll use it in place of like the Max Fix Plus because nobody has money for that in this house. <laughs> um, so I just spray down my brush and dip it into my shadow and it works just as good in my opinion. I've never used Max Fix Plus, but it works and it's only a couple bucks. So that's my, actually my go-to favorite setting spray. The last product I have to show you is a mascara. This is the Rimmel lash accelerator endless fibers mascara it is great because it has this teeny little thin wand so it's a perfect under eye um lower lash line mascara but it's also really lengthening for your top lashes i do a couple coats and it makes them long and it's not chunky or too thick so that's my favorite drugstore mascara and that is all the products that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Check out my other stuff. I really appreciate your guys' support as I'm just getting up and running on YouTube. So all your comments and when you subscribe really means a lot to me. So thank you for watching.